What's up guys? So I saw this Reddit thread a couple days ago and it was about like quitting the game and how to stay motivated and so on. And there was a lot of comments and discussion around it and I definitely have my own feelings about that and I, it's a little bit different topic than the usual raid videos. It's not gonna be live arena, it's not gonna be champion guide or anything like that. It's not really even like a drama video, but I kind of just wanted to talk about um, my opinions in regarding to quitting the game and how to stay motivated and why you might consider quitting or how to do it and so on. But yeah, sometimes people take the game too seriously. It is a good time to take a little breather and think about if you actually want to play the game and how do you want to play the game. But let's actually take a quick look at the Reddit thread. This wasn't like a massive post where he was telling his life story, but um, it was pretty short and sweet and there was a mass amount of comments and people discussing because clearly it's a topic that is very, very close to people, people's hearts and kind of uh, roused a lot of interest. But let's see what he's saying first. Would love to quit playing, but I've invested so much time and money into this game and still enjoy parts of it. Any success stories of quitting? The sunken cost fallacy is real. I'm not sure if this is a valuable account, but have to assume just having Taritska, Double Nude and Archer make it decently valuable. Now, I want to start it off by, <laughs> by saying that I obviously, I mean, Selling accounts is technically against the Parium rules, I'm pretty sure. Even though usually people don't really get banned from it. And a lot of times when people claim that they got banned from account trading, it was actually for something else, but that's another topic. But obviously I have not bought an account. I have never even considered doing that. But being in part of the, let's say, in-game circles and arena circles if you are not super aware of it but there's obviously a mass amount of account trading especially in the arena circles there is some some of the top accounts in the game that have like many trophies and so on they have been sold so many times that your head, head would be spinning i'm not saying that they've had like two or three owners but some of the accounts have had like 10 different owners and they keep getting traded all the time and I don't mean that some guys like multiple people are flipping off the same accounts that does happen as well but I'm not even taking into account that part but it is the fact that people get into the game they are super into it they buy a really good account then they wail a lot on that account and then they get burned out very fast I've seen this happen so many times and it really pains me but they wail on the account that they bought, then they burn out and then they sell the account for like so minuscule price that it really makes me sad as well. I can already tell that I'm no expert on evaluating the account prices, but this account, I don't know if you can even sell an account like this, but you can buy for a couple hundred USD really good accounts and you can buy top 20 arena accounts for like 2k the best accounts in the game like accounts with trophies they only sell for like let's say 3 to 10k tops i don't think there really has been accounts that have sold for like <laughs> more than 10k i think there's like a couple accounts that sold like that but you can buy accounts with many trophies and very good champion pool for a few thousand it's and of course those accounts have spent like hundred thousand or hundreds of thousands or whatever you get really little back for the amount of money that you spend on the account. And that's why the sunken cost fallacy that he was talking about here, you really don't want to, to, I mean, this goes without saying, but you really don't want to think your raid account as investment. You're not going to get your money back. If you're hundred percent sure you want to quit the game, you definitely, and you have a pretty good account, like I said, I'm not sure if he could even sell an account like this, but if you have really good account, 
you can sell it, but you, you will be lucky if you get like 5% of your investment back. Talking about the money, of course, if you have a crazy account like that, you have obviously also spent a mass amount of time on it. But y just throw that thinking out of the window. I would definitely say that if you are really into the game and you lose the motivation, which is like a thing that I see all the time, especially as somebody who is in Mad Clan. And in all of the top clans, we have lots of new people coming and quitting and going back and forth and it's it's really painful as somebody that sees it and is kind of part of it. I would say that if you are dead set on quitting the game, that's definitely an option just to sell your account. You could totally just of course keep it and maybe consider coming back at some point because you're not going to get a lot of money for it. And lots of people quit the game or consider quitting the game. They message me that, hey, do you want to have my account that it's better than yours and you can play it and that's basically the advice that I have given every single time that people have DM'd me about it and that has been many times but I would say if you're feeling very unmotivated and you feel like quitting the game but then you kind of like like it also but there's parts of it that make you hate it like the meta and feeling the need to get some new top champions from voice or primals or Whatever is the thing at that time, maybe when the souls were released and so on. I would say that if you have played the game a long time and you've liked it, but you kind of feel super unmotivated to play, consider just taking a break before you sell your account, because I've seen it many times that people quit the game, sell their account, then they come back and buy a new account and it's, <laughs> it pains me so much to see that happening. Because obviously the amount of money that they lose is very, very significant. But even if you like, because like I said, you're not going to get that much money out of your account. You could just quit the game, not even for like a day or two. But if you really feel like quitting the game, you could quit the game for several months. And maybe you feel like coming back later. Who knows? But I would say that if you have played the game for years, and you're feeling like quitting, maybe take a break and if you're not feeling like coming back even after let's say six months, then maybe you could sell the account for a little bit money. But well, that's another thing I'm not going to get into. Like obviously <laughs> I'm not going to condone account trading as content creator. I'm kind of neutral on it. I don't think it's good, but I'm definitely not going <laughs> to blame people for selling their accounts. and. I literally advise people to do it if they're really sure about quitting the game. But for many people that are super invested into the game, like me personally, because this has happened to me as well, but so many people that I know who quit the game, they came back after a few months or whatever. This happens very often in the arena circles. Myself personally, I've had couple breaks from the game, some have been like couple days or couple weeks, but or um, some of them were like I played the game at very low maintenance, that I wasn't making any new builds, but maybe I was doing faction wars, but not all of the dailies or all of the dailies and nothing else. Sometimes I'm super active in the game, sometimes I'm barely playing the game and just doing the bare minimum. But at one time I literally quit the game. And this is super long time ago. Then Marshall had got buffed and I decided to come back because I was kind of... Uh, I did like the raid. I just was frustrated about aspects of it, like many people are. They were a bit different aspects than nowadays because uh, lots of things have changed. Like one thing that we were talking about in CC uh, chat today was Minotaur. And... I was explaining how much how much harder or worse it used to be. It used to give you like they doubled the amount of scrolls you get from it. And we didn't have six star gear and it was super hard to do. People were doing like Minotaur 13 and not even able to do the max level and they had really long fights. And stuff like that, getting very few voids and having really hard time to progress into the game. That was what 
what eventually or not eventually but originally caused me to quit the game it just was too much but i did like many aspects of it and then i eventually came back and played it for many years though i'm not saying that if you feel like quitting the game then you just should i mean i'm definitely not telling people to play raid if they don't like it but like i said so many people keep going back and forth coming back and selling account and coming back and that just hurts me but let's see what kind of discussion we have in the, in this thread because it was a very active one okay first comment is a little bit toxic no need to have an existential crisis if you don't paying it anymore the money you spent you won't get back no matter what so just stop playing if that's what you want that's pretty much what i said but a little bit in a more nuanced and nice way i guess okay he has a good comment take a break i left for about 18 months came back recently for three months and had fun ultimately the game takes too much time to do everything and i have a hard time playing casually that's by the way another aspect that i should have also talked about a bit more but sometimes people take raid way too seriously in regards to everything it could be competing for top 20 arena or pushing the highest damage that you can do on hydra or competing in the dungeon rankings and so on if you're not into the game uh, if you're into the game but you take it too hard then that can also like cause loss of motivation if you feel like the game is too much and is causing you to burn out you really don't lose that much by just not playing the game at all for a few weeks or even a few months sure it's not efficient and you lose on the daily rewards and so on but raid is a super long term game and it's also a lot about iron chi and it's not that big deal honestly if you just have some days that you don't play the game at all and raid, raid has been going on for five years at this point and it's a thing that they keep doing constantly that at one point we didn't even have six star gear then they released it and basically all of the other old gear became worthless and They've done the same with many other stuff, like releasing new champions that make the old ones obsolete, or releasing new item sets, releasing blessings. There will always be new stuff that makes the old content totally irrelevant or less relevant. And it also acts as a catch-up mechanic if you are a new player or if you want to come back. And it really isn't that big deal. You, you can always make a comeback in the game if you want at later point. It's a bit different, of course, if you really want to compete for top 20 or higher up in any aspect of the game. You will definitely need to spend money, but old whale accounts, they become obsolete as well. Speaking of account prices, there is many of these guard accounts that have multiple trophies that uh, the owner stopped playing or whaling after we got new void champions or primals and these accounts don't have any of them even though they might have like plus four cfes and gartuses and rotoses and those kind of old champions but they actually are not really worth much money and they keep getting resolved and people people instantly sell them back again because they aren't that good and you can't actually compete with them so even even older cons get outdated and there's definitely some opportunities to make a comeback but of course like i said if you want to make a comeback in top 20 arena regardless if you take a break or not you will have to spend but i don't think that's what most people are concerned about if you just want to play the game for fun it really doesn't matter I would also say that during the time that I have played Raid, which like I said is a crazy 5 years of time, but sometimes I only play Raid, sometimes Raid is my main game, sometimes it's a side game, but 
I have played multiple other games as my main game during the times of Raid. Specifically, I'm into MMOs and there has been multiple different MMO releases during the time of Raid, like Bless 2 and Alien Online and multiple other ones. And I'm a big MMO buff. Every time there's a new MMO launch, I usually take a small break from the game, not quitting it completely, but just doing the dailies and not taking anything else too seriously. And after that, it's always more nice to come back to the game or when they get new updates and so on and you get more motivated. But what I want to say with this video is that if you're not into the game, you're not motivated, just quit or take a break. But don't feel pressured to do it. Don't feel pressured to buy a new account every few months or wailing too hard or doing daily quests if you don't feel like it. You can always come back and do everything eventually. I would definitely say that over time, for instance, most of my friends in Raid, they have quit. I barely, barely got any of my old friends left. And of course, you make new ones and so on. But it is the name of the game. It's the name of life. Don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy it. And if you don't like it, then move on. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. It's a bit randy video. It's not the typical raid content, but I kind of wanted to speak my mind about it. It's a topic that keeps coming up every now and then. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have anything you want to say or add or correct me on, then let me know in the comments. It's a very touchy subject. It's a different beast for other people. And I'm not saying that my opinion and advice applies to everybody. But that's my honest opinion and take about this. I have definitely thought about it a lot over the years and, and have considered quitting myself many times as well. But that's it. See ya.